Here we're asked to solve a radical equation. Since the radical is isolated, we begin by squaring both sides. Remember, squaring both sides introduces the possibility of extraneous solutions. So we'll have to check our answers. Also, when squaring a product, remember, we square each factor. That's true for multiplication only. And that's what we have here. So what we're left with on the left side is 3x plus 1 equals when I square 2, I'll be left with 4. And when I square this square root, we'll be left with the argument x minus 3. Notice I took care to place that in a parentheses. We will have to distribute this 4. 3x plus 1 then equals 4x minus 12. Here we have a linear equation. We solve for x. First, subtract 1 on both sides. That leaves us with 3x equals 4x minus 13. Then, subtracting 4x on both sides, we're left with negative x equals negative 13, or x equals 13. Now let's check our solution. Checking requires that we substitute x equals 13 into the original equation. In this case, we have the square root 3 times 13 plus 1, and we need to see if that equals 2 times the square root of 13 minus 3. Simplifying, 3 times 13 is 39, and 13 minus 3 is 10. So the square root of 40 we need to see if that equals 2 times the square root of 10. 40 is 4 times 10. So the square root of 40 simplifies as 2 square root of 10. And certainly that equals 2 square root of 10, and we obtain a true statement. Therefore, x equals 13 is our only solution.